Well, dudes, it's time to check out yet another new anime from the winter 2023 season, and that is saving 80,000 gold in another world for my retirement. And it's clear that this is another isekai, and it is a comedy series as well. And I figured why not check it out, branch out a little bit more. I enjoy isekais, I enjoy comedy, hence Konosuba, right? That's a series that got me into isekai comedy. So why not give this one a shot? So let's go. I like the music already. Something tragic about to happen? Or I guess so. <laughs> Our main character is getting thrown off of a cliff, bro. So here she is reincarnated in the other world, or maybe not even reincarnated. I think she might have just got teleported and didn't die. Because if I remember correctly, can't she travel between both worlds or something? Did she make a blood contract with a god or something? She grabbed her hand and she started bleeding. Ooh, look at the size of the moon. She's going to be like, what the heck? We ain't in Kansas no more, Toto. Mitsuha goes to another world. Her name's Mitsuha. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Wait. Did they push her off of there? Or did she fall from the blowback of the kick? Isn't that supposed to be like a... I'm not really sure what those are. But I've seen them like come up and grab a coin and go back down. So she has to be at least 18, right? Or 17, because she's getting ready to go to university. Oh, did her parents... Are you kidding me? Her older brother died and her parents died. Would they die in a car accident? And it's interesting because they're glaring out the mother and father's faces, but not the brother's face. <laughs> I see. He was into the culture, bro. He weeded that out with the process of elimination, dude. She's the last piece of her family, you know? Of her main family. Damn, looks like she's traveling into the night. And into the next day. Is it going to turn night again, bro? No, okay. You definitely have to be tired and hungry, though. He was hungry almost 24 hours ago or 12 hours ago. Oh, here we go. Here's a native. Here's a local to the world. Damn, bro. She's not looking good. Now, I wonder if Mitsuha is going to understand her. I guess she's not going to get an explanation anytime soon. Typically, like, a god or a goddess will isekai somebody, right? <laughs> the brother said it to her before. Oh, it healed. Like, completely. No scars, nothing. Oh, yeah, she's not going to understand you. That's not her native tongue. Hmm. <laughs> Damn, she must be strong. Oh! You heard that spine crack, dude? <laughs> Don't know what you're saying, dude. Sorry. Wait, are the words backwards? No, they're not, right? <laughs> A porter potty. <laughs> Use your hand. Uh, okay. Yeah, she was prepared at least, huh? Damn, did a handstand. <laughs> they seem to be getting along, huh? <laughs> what the heck, bro? That's one sexy mom. <laughs> hmm. The law is yes. 
he would know, dude. He would know. Oh. <laughs> My man jumped the gun a little bit. It looks like something's about to attack. He said that earlier when she heard Mitsuha fall, like, uh, yesterday. Or I think Colette's gonna be doing the protecting, not you. Remember that hug she gave her? Dude, imagine the wolf uh, can climb the tree. <laughs> so long, I'm gonna die. She gonna bash the head with the rock, dude? Or is a god or goddess gonna finally come to her aid? There it is. Oh, damn. Oh, she went back to her world. It was no dream. That was all real. I was wondering what that was. It's a slingshot. Okay. Bro, she's going back armed, huh? Spices, dude. Oh, she don't need no pocket knife when she got an actual butcher's knife, bro. So she can just willingly go back. Oh, damn! The slingshot, bro. Mess with its senses a little bit, yeah. No. Wow. I wonder if she's like gonna get any experience or anything. Like, I don't know what the dynamic is of this uh, other world is. <laughs> well, that's kind of messed up. If that was uh, the wolf's parent. Uh, that was a parent. Now those cubs are apparently. Oh, I guess the one's still alive, right? Is it time to finally meet the god? So that's what they're called, lucky cats. That's the thing she gave a head pat to in her flashback of her daily routine. Is it possible her doing that gave her, like, the option to travel? Because now this thing's coming to her. Essentially getting lucky. Plus, I'm assuming these things are used with, like, coins and stuff. I remember seeing them pop out of a box and take the yen, you know what I mean? Oh, and it was given to her by her brother, too. When she grabbed, when she grabbed. Your energy from the distant past? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he evolved. <laughs> oh, and he knows the concept of enjoyment now. Oh, so that's why we heard that scream. Okay. This sounds pretty insane, dude. Damn, bro. <laughs> he doesn't know for sure. <laughs> as long as she gets her arm back, right? <laughs> I'll be back later. Can he can understand her now? Let's go, dude. Oh, there's that bear hug again, dude. Oh no. That's how they do it in this in these fantasy worlds, man. Crazy, dude. What do you think you would do? He'd be he'd be in heaven, bro. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Liquidity. <laughs> My man's getting dude. 
<laughs> All right, Mitsuha, get fired up. <laughs> Damn, bro. And that's how we begin, huh? Time to start saving for her retirement so she can live to 100 years old. Got to make up that backstory, right? Yo, that superhuman strength, bro. <laughs> she ain't used to the more primitive ways, dude. <laughs> Thought she was supposed to be bringing an air freshener. <laughs> That's a hell of a sea, bro. That's right. He just is, has, he's a count. He just has land like a duke, you know? I love how she just keeps making up this backstory, bro. She has to, though. Yeah, isn't she like at least 18 years old? She was ready to go in university. <laughs> She's gonna keep declaring it, bro. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know the half of it, my guy. They don't have time, bro. They don't have hours or minutes. <laughs> her soul's leaving her body, bro. They go by the sun, right? It's 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 a more primitive time, but like I guess they don't even know uh, have a way of like counting hours and minutes and all that too. Is she gonna start bringing stuff from our world to this world, like clocks and stuff, dude? I mean, she would make a lot of money, right? If she starts introducing those concepts. Oh, I mean, I think she could stop you if she really wanted to. He's definitely stronger than, than you, dude. Time to say goodbye, man. Oh. Damn, dude. Ooh, breaking the poor girl's back. There it is. Put on a brave little smile. All right, man, so we're heading to the capital. Apparently, it's going to take seven days. I'm curious to see what we're going to be saying here. A prime piece of real estate. <laughs> I love that we're getting to see the brother. Like, I love that the brother's like her subconscious, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool. He obviously made a big impact on her before he passed away, you know? Yeah, but what? Like... How does that work, though? He's gonna leave when she comes back. Isn't she gonna be in the same spot? All right, let's see what's going to happen here. She's going to teleport away, and then is she going to show up back here or somewhere else? It worked. Well, you did that before, though. Why is she so excited? She jumped worlds last episode to get the knife and everything to save Colette, though. I guess she's just hype, bro. I don't know. I mean, I guess I would be hyped, too, if I was jumping from world to world. <laughs> like, it's pretty wild power, man. Okay, but I feel like when she... Teleports back. She's gonna be in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. But like, she's gonna go to the other world in a business suit. Would she just run a car? Okay. Like, what is her plan here, dude? Yeah. Wait, why are they speaking in English? Is she in America?
Wait, so now she can speak that woman's life? Wait a second. So that power translated over to our world too. So she can pretty much just learn any language she wants that's in our world too. That's pretty crazy, dude. She's got Google Translate in her head. But you need, you would have the. But what? I wonder though, if she uses the internet to see different places on Earth at least, could she jump there? Or is it only between world to world? So where is she going to go right now? She's going to be in the middle of nowhere or back at the town that she was in in the fantasy world, right? <laughs> Woogle. <laughs> Do you think she's just going to walk onto a military base? Oh, I, mean, I guess money makes the world go around. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Is she going to bring these people to the fantasy world? I'm pretty sure that's the guy we see in the opening that I thought was Yakuza. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Oh, she's gonna... They're gonna teach her how to... Okay. <laughs> this cat's like, again, bro? Yeah, you can't just teleport right into the building, bro. Wow, okay. <laughs> right on the nose, bro. Yeah, she's trying to do things illegally, basically, because she was like, when she went to the bank, she's like, that money could be tracked or whatever, if it wasn't in cash or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not meant for threatening, my guy. Damn, they're going to teach her good, huh? She's going to go to the other world. She's going to start shooting wolves and everything else, dude. I wonder if she's going to be a natural or not. None. No hits. <laughs> yeah, it's her first time. More, more ammo. Yep. <laughs> Probably. You know, they're deities and everything. Yeah. A Smith and Wesson, bro. Yeah, she's gonna get some. She's gonna get blown back. No, I guess not. She handled it pretty well. You're going to offer bodyguard work? Dude. The brother sounds like he would have died pretty quick, man. <laughs> I love how dramatic it is, bro. She used an umbrella to block the katana. Oh, she has a katana. She has a hell of an imagination, doesn't she? It's really sad that she lost her family, though, you know? A pearl necklace, huh? No, you cannot. I'm assuming that was her mother's. Yeah, see how they keep blanking out the mother and father's face? But showing the brothers? I wonder if we're gonna, like, see them at some point, and that's why they're doing that. Or they're doing that because they don't plan to ever show them where the brother were getting him, like, as her subconscious, you know? This woman's always outside. I wonder if she does this on purpose, this woman right here. Knowing that she lost... Yeah. 
Yeah. I feel like she might be out there doing that, waiting for her to come out so she could say have a good day because she knows she lost her whole family, you know? That's a good neighbor right there. I'm going in the battle. <laughs> you loved hearing that. You're going to pay a premium price too, right? <laughs> so she can take anything she's holding on to into the other world as well. Bruh. The people are going to see her riding this little motorbike. They're going to be like, what kind of animal is that? What? Bandits? Oh, adventurers. Ooh, she felt it, bro. Uh <laughs> oh, yo. Gonna leave some tread marks on her bed. See, she's always out there. So she's like keeping an eye on her, I feel like. Finally made it to the capital. I wonder what she's going to do here, man. She's going to try to get the Lord in her pocket, huh? <laughs> 